Hi, welcome to Animation. I'm Arman. I will be continuing series where we animate VFX in Spine. I want to show how I animated the stars here. And also I want to uh, animate the rays in a different way. Uh, thanks to this comment, I would like to show how you would do that if you don't have this big uh, span of animation. That means you will have to um, use another image, which is, so we have an image which has several rays on it. So we will need to spin this, then fade out, then fade in, and that's simple. So let's start from spinning it in, I guess, 200 frames. Something like this. We don't need any easing here because it is considered like um, consistent spinning with constant speed. So we don't need easings here. So let's do some easings for opacity and check this. Yeah. This is something we are looking for. Before duplicate, we need to make sure that this is looping. So the last uh, rotation key is not the same as the first one. So I'm moving it back one frame, selecting that frame, breaking the interpolation so it's not jumping, uh, and then copying first frame to the end. This will be the looping. So this helps me to offset it. Otherwise, I wouldn't be able to offset it. Now we are ready to duplicate. Let's see how this works out. Great. Now selecting this new bone, duplicated one, I will try to offset it like half a cycle and find it. Mm -hmm. Yeah, this is something that can work actually. Maybe a little bit different size. And instead of this half a cycle, maybe I can do um, Third. Sure. Let's leave it here. That means I will duplicate it once again. And this time I will move it to two third. Yeah. So basically, this would be it. Uh, you can add some um, blending to the slots that will make sure they are. <clears throat> flowing through each other nicely. You can next um, maybe set the size differently, flip them, um, add little different rotation. Yeah, so this is the other technique. The rest is pretty much the same. I mean, you can put this into another bone so you can scale and skew that bone. So rotation happens in the perspective. Now let's go to the stars itself. This is the star we are looking for. Let's add a bone. Um, I would also add another bone. Select the slot, select the new. That will make sure that new uh, that slot is inside that bone. I will call this rotor. Let's call rotor. It's already there. Star. So this is our star, and I will create another like bone vertical or horizontal doesn't matter, and put that star there. Let's call this star container. So basically, star will be going here and then disappearing, fading out. So this bone will help us to then rotate and change the direction, maybe scale them up, down. So this is very helpful bone for us. So later we can create a variety. Yeah, you can see each star here has that bone and it, it makes um, easy to spread them out in a nice way. Great. So let's create another animation, moving it here. Let's set it to zero. It's going to coming out very fast and then slowing down. Let's scale it back. 
and then moving it up. Maybe in 10 frames, we can put it back to uh, zero opacity. Let's soften this. Now let's find that star. <clears throat> Great, we have basic star animating. Uh, I would like to rotate it. I will use rot. And add maybe some, some rotation. Let's see which one works. It has uh, most energy in the center. So let's um, do easing according to that. So faster here and then slows down here. Um, next, I would like to uh, also incorporate the scaling and the shearing just to give some nice variety in perspective. Let's make it smaller or maybe like this and then open it up. Something like this. You can see it rotates inside that uh, skewed perspective. Because we have used two bones, we scaled the first one and the children bone is actually rotating without knowing that the parent uh, frame of reference is skewed. Okay, let's also add the uh, shearing. I'm doing some extreme things here. And maybe I can separate the axis, something like this. Just to give a super random effect. Great. First of all, make sure that it is looping. So for that, select all the bones, move it one frame back and pass it here, break the curve. Now we can actually offset them. So the moment when you see you can offset them, it's time to duplicate. Let's try it with one copy, select all of them and move them. Yeah. I think I will go with maybe uh, seven, five, uh, 10. How much I did? Oh, I did 10 of them here. Okay, let's go with 10. Now, as we have seen that it works, we can duplicate further. I will make 10 copies of them. Ready? Let's start from container third and move them each frame, each five frame. So this is the fifth, this is the 10th, and it should go to 15. Yeah. This goes to 20. Okay, we have constant flow of stars. Now we just need to distribute them and make some adjustments. It's up to you where you want to rotate them. You can do it here or you can do it in animation. Let's go with making it here. Uh, okay. If you want a wider cone, you can duplicate uh, more stars for that. Okay. 
having to make um, easy adjustments. Hey, here are our stars. I actually don't see that uh, skewing. Oh yeah, when I disabled it, it also. I'm happy that you also see how I um, do mistakes so I can correct them in the video. Uh, maybe give you time to digest everything. So by mistake, I disabled rotation and inheritance here. I'm turning it on. Instead, I will disable it here. So next thing, let's give some variety to the stars. Hmm, maybe something like this. And some rotation. Great, we have constant flow of stars, looking nice. And they are not that wide as I would need for this effect, but which I can fix, just spreading them here. Last thing is, would be to copy all this and put inside <clears throat> our uh, long animation, which is this one. Let's try it now. Just to be safe, I will uh, hit Control Shift L to key all the used keys in the in uh, the first frame and the last frame. Now let's copy all of them and start pasting here. Great! In the next video, we will be animating this chest, which will glow in the closed state and just pop up open and then we will see um, the treasures shining from inside something like this i guess yeah